Hello, welcome to another video. We have a limit problem here and this problem is very easy or almost impossible depending on what you already know. So when I first saw this, I said, okay, um, what if I take the natural log of both sides and then I try to work it out? As soon as I started, I had this epiphany that, oh, this looks like the actual definition of E. And I said, I can compare the two. And that's what I did, and I got the answer. So if you already know one of the most common definitions for E, then this is gonna be an easy problem. If you did not know what that definition was, then this is gonna be a really difficult problem. Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing that I did was to write the definition of E that I know. I know that if I take the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x raised to power x, that limit is going to be E. So all I did was to say this looks exactly like this except that what's inside the parenthesis is different. Everything else is the same. So if I can make this look like this, I can find the value of t that I'm looking for. So I decided to say, I'm going to say that, therefore, I have x plus t, where this t is a constant, is not changing, only x is changing, and I have divided by x minus t is going to be 1 plus 1 over x. So all I have to do here is find the value of t in terms of x, right? Let's do it. So um, at this point, well, this is going to be tough. So let's rewrite this expression here to be, if I make this 1, I can write it as x over x. Okay, so now I can add this two together. So I have x plus 1 over x equals x plus t over x minus t. So let's do some cross multiplication. So I have x times x plus t um, will be equal to x plus 1 times x minus t. Nice. Um, what else do I need to do? Okay, I distribute. So I have x squared plus xt, x squared plus xt equals, here I have x squared minus xt, and then I have plus x, then minus t. Remember, the objective is to find t, that's the mission. So we want to know what t will be that will make this equal to e, that is another form of this. Um, so, oh, there's x squared on both sides, so these two can cancel out. Well, I have xt equals minus xt plus x minus t. If I bring this here, in fact, I take all the terms that contain t and I bring them to the left. I'm going to have xt plus xt, which is going to be 2xt. Bring this t over, it's going to be plus t equals x. So that means if I factor out t, I have 2x plus 1 equals x. So that t will be equal to x over 2x plus 1. So that's it. Remember that t is a constant. It's a number. It's not changing. So what exactly is t? Because we've just observed t in terms of x. But I need to get t. t has to be a number. So what do I do? I'm going to say... If t is constant, you would assume that any number you plug in for x will give you the same answer, but it doesn't look promising, because if I put in 0 here, then t has to be 0. If I plug in 1 here, then t has to be 1 third. So what can I plug in to get my t? Well, the question tells you that we're looking for the characteristic of e. So e is only generated as x approaches infinity. So for anything you're doing here to be valid, your x has to approach infinity. So here you can say that t will be equal to, or you can say as x approaches infinity, then t will be equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of x over 2x. 
plus 1. And we know this. This is going to be equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. If you divide everything by x, you're going to get x over x divided by 2x over x plus 1 over x. Well, that gives you um, the limit as x approaches infinity of, you have 1 over 2 plus 1 over x. Well, as x goes to infinity, this goes to 0, and what you have left is 1 half. Therefore, if you replace t with 1 half, that is another way. If you watch other videos, I've shown you the different ways you can write e, okay? Now, this is another way. We just generated one. If t is 1 half, it means you can say... So this is our answer, actually. So let's just box this. But it means you can say that the limit as x goes to infinity of, just write x minus 1 half, sorry, x plus 1 half, divided by x minus 1 half, everything raised to power x. That limit will be e. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.